Hey folks, Kathy Williams de Vries here bringing you a tutorial on the third movement of the Tartini Concertino uh, transcribed for clarinet. Uh, the music you're hearing in the background is Smart Music from smartmusic.com. Uh, subscribe for 36 bucks a year and get heaps and heaps of backing tracks. It's absolutely brilliant. I'm using it in the rest of my videos from now on. Um, so, the third movement, uh, it's slow, uh, a lot like the first movement, um, although the, I don't think there are quite as many avenues for ornamentation, it's already fairly highly ornamented anyway. So, but I suppose um, this movement really focuses on phrasing and breathing, and we'll work out where you can breathe and where you shouldn't be breathing, and how long you should be able to hold uh, the line. So let's start. choices to where to breathe in the first line. Uh, you can breathe just before the E at the end of the second bar and then go right through to the end of the phrase or you can breathe uh, at the last beat of the next bar. I'm pretty cool about that. Note that the trills are upper uh, and you just leave that D hanging until you trill to the C. Let's go on. those upper trills in the second bar of the second line. Now I tried to do a little bit of ornamentation there, um, I don't think it worked. Uh, so breathe after the F sharp. sound really good because I'm using covered fingerings. Uh, please refer to my video on throat tones and how to get the most out of them using covered fingerings. I won't cover that here. So what I do is I breathe before the D in the second bar of the second line and then I would try not to breathe again until the before the G in the last beat of the first bar of the third line. easy for yourself put a couple of fingers down so that you don't have to reach for the um for uh the upper notes <laughs> and then in the second bar of the third line you've got this really sort of cool sequence 
happening. That um, C is particularly juicy in the second bar. elaborate G um, on sort of the first few melodic ideas of the movement. Um, I did add the occasional ornament in there, it does sort of, it's not too bad. Make that F really really juicy as well. It's almost going a little, little bit into A minor there isn't it? The rhythm here, uh, you've got a syncopated rhythm. So let's take it from G. there in the second bar. Um, in the third bar of the fourth line, finger out the B and uh, don't have a steady trill, lean into it. Let's go from G again. time when I shouldn't have just before H. Um, just before H and the four bars before H really lean on those quavers. I know they're not 
sort of interesting, but... Okay, let's go from G again. Um, after the C, uh, you can pretty much take your time, the um, smart music will follow you. You know what, I think, um, <clears throat> I'm going to see if I can make it through to that B without having to breathe, so I'll go, um, I'll go from um, H. really 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 pretty um, let's play it all the way through then
that's the third movement for you. Really, really pretty little movement. Um, good for um, focusing on your breathing and uh, your tone um, and sense of phrasing. So uh, please join me for the fourth movement. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.